Hey yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video of mine. Um, so today I'm going to be on the Transit Authority, Transit Authority team and I'm going to be taking you guys on tour of the New Haven County Transit Authority Depot. So, um, yeah. What we're going to be doing is I'm just going to take you out explaining all the things that are inside of it. Um, and yeah. So if you guys want to know what rank I am currently in the Transit Authority, I'm in the Training Operations Unit. I recently got accepted and I'm still going through training for that. So, yeah. Let's start off by entering the front of the building. So this is the front. It's quite nice. Uh, this wasn't here like around a year and a half ago when I first started playing. This is just empty land. But, anyway, you enter through here. And then this is where like citizens can come in, like look in, I guess. But citizens can't cross the store. I can't because I'm special. So, we're just going to go in here. And then we have this nice little hallway. And then over here, if the door would open. Hello? Okay. Okay. Anyway, so this is like a nice little desk room that we use for like, you know, paperwork. Like if you just want to chill, do some stuff, AFK, you know, you can just chill in here. And then that, there's a huge window right here looking into the bay, which we'll get, which we'll go into in a bit. But. Anyway, uh, so that was the front entrance over here, and then right here, we're gonna take a look upstairs. So, let's head up. Oh, open this door. So, over here on our left, another window looking into the bay, um, or garage, whatever you want to call it. And then, this room, which wasn't added too long ago, it was added around two weeks ago, is called the briefing room. And basically, ho like, trainings and stuff, or like, meetings are hosted here. They used to be hosted just out in the bay, but it was causing too much commotion and too much crime was happening through those windows. And it was just too many, inter um, like, people interfering with training sessions and stuff like that. So, uh, developers added this for TA, which I'm glad is here because as training operations unit, this is a big help. So anyway, that's the briefing room. Um, but now we're going to exit here. We're going to go out here. And this is the stairs, like previously shown. And then over here is the director's office, so technically I'll just be in here. This is for the director, which is currently Sherman, uh, the director of TA. And then out here, it's just an empty hallway down there, and then here is the locker, or like armory, whatever you want to call it. So we have the uniforms over here, we have the overalls, which are used for the mechanic mechanical operations unit, and then the bus operator, which is used for all the other units, and then your own clothing right here, which you're not supposed to wear unless it's like a special event, so we'll switch back to this, and then here we have a flashlight and a radio, kind of basic, but I mean it's transit authority, what else do you need, there's nothing, you know, else you kind of, you really need for transit, so yeah, um, and then here's where you like get on and off team. And then, yeah, this is overall just a nice locker, I like the lighting, it's quite nice. And then in the radio, we have Global, we have access to Global and Transit 1, that's it. So, if we just go out here, I will take you guys to the depot, bay, or the garage area, whatever you want to call it. So, we'll just head out here, and these big, these big doors lead out to the bay. Nice and spacious, um, this is where sometimes people meet up and stuff, so, yeah. It's kind of cool, you can look up into the briefing room up there, desk room, hallway, it's quite cool. So, we're going to open up these doors, and we're going to close it back up, because we don't want random people getting in there. If they would close, there it is. Alright, anyway, so out here we have cones, which I never dispense, because there's no real need to them for me anymore, because I'm not mechanical operations unit anymore. So yeah, the cones are right there for like, you know, procedures or events setting up or like responding to a motor vehicle accident. You need cones to like flip the car. All right, so over here I'm gonna show you guys um, the vehicles that transit authority, transit authority gets. Wait, let me just flex all my cars real quick. So, so I have every car in the game, by the way, 
Except the except the Crusader because it got blown up yesterday by some random tourist. But yeah, I, at least I have the McDougal Crusader. Anyway, so first we're gonna start off with the land land crawler, and we're gonna go over here. And I'll take I'll just uh, here I'll just move it a bit so I can show you guys. Here. All right. So this is the land crawler. Um, it's the main bus that Transit Authority operates. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's a 12 seater, including, including the what's it called, the driver I think, or not including. I'm not sure. But two, wait, let's just count real quick. I know it's 12, but I don't know if it's including. So two, four, six. Uh, I think. Three people on that side. Three people on that side. So yeah, so it's twelve without the bus driver. So it it seats twelve people. Thirteen with the bus driver, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, and I guess this that's it for the bus. There's no like um inventory. You can't store anything. But yeah, that's it for the um land crawler or the New M County Transit Authority bus. So I'm gonna go spawn the other vehicle. That transit authority gets. Only some of it gets to use it, but everyone has access to it, just not allowed to use it because of their permissions. Anyway, this is the utility. Um, this is used by uh, training operations unit for training, supervisors, they can freely use it. Mechanical operations unit uses this as their primary vehicle, and other units as well. And then in the back, there's cones, jerry two jerry cans. It used to be 20 cones, but they reduced it because of the whole cone farce and all the people dealing, which is understandable. So yeah, this is it. Um, there's no... The horn sounds normal, but there are um, amber lights on the top, which look pretty cool. But you can't use them unless you're like, stationary or responding to a motor vehicle accident. But yeah, that's the transit uh, uh, utility. It's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of slow. It has the same specs as the bus, which is 80 miles an hour top speed, which is pretty whack compared to other vehicles in the game. But yeah, so actually, no, I can just keep that spawned. But yeah, that's uh, those are all the vehicles that depot or that transit load gets. So I'm gonna go back in here, just make sure to close the gates. All right. So to end off the video, let's just go on. Desk room, and I'll turn off the video. So, that is it for the New M County Transit Authority Depot, which is like what the HQ is called. Um, that's it for the tour of it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm also an MPBS, so I, I'm gonna try and get permission to do a tour of MPBS, like their headquarters. And I also applied for Law Enforcement Training Institute, or LETI, L-E-T-I, whatever you wanna call it. But, yeah, um, I also applied for that, and I hope I get in, and I'll be doing videos on that if I am to get in. But other than that, uh, stay tuned for more Pugs and Wildlife, Transit Authority, possibly um, Broadcasting Service, and PBS videos in the future. So that'll be it for this one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love the support on my previous video, and I appreciate it from all you guys, so thank you. That's going to be it for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. So there's